Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with FX Market Insight for Tuesday, the 15th of September. All right, now a few things sort of happening just at the moment. Uh, the RBA minutes just came out. The central bank was pretty upbeat, okay, saying that the uh, recovery was pretty much happening across the board, Australia, except for this Victorian issue. Now, that uh, sounds like a lot of crap, but one of the key things to take out of this was uh, they're saying that they're not going to uh, raise the cash rate until. Um, Progress is made towards full employment and inflation, right? Sort of going along the same lines of the Fed, who were more interested in the employment side of things, but, you know, reiterates where uh, everything is. The, um, so I'm not too worried about the rest of what they've said. That uh, doesn't seem to make sense that, uh, you know, the downturn hasn't been as bad as expected, et cetera, et cetera. We'll see how that plays out. But on uh, that alone, we're waiting for some Chinese numbers to come out here. Uh, we've got about 20 minutes. Check out the move here on dollar one. Right, it's taken off. It's down a couple hundred points. You would think that these these numbers have got to be strong, right? It's it's not unusual for the Chinese data to be leaked. You know, whoever's in charge of the numbers there, whether it's the government, whoever gets it, calls their friends, they all jump on board and it becomes quite obvious very quickly. This is one of the main reasons why the one isn't part of the sort of global currency base. So we're seeing that move. We'll see in about 20 minutes if that data lines up. Okay, if, if the data does come out really strong, you'd expect this to rally a bit as they all square up and take profit. So it's not exactly uh, a massive opportunity. Um, if the data does come out, um, you know, completely opposite, as in really weak, well, then you've got to suspect that move will be corrected very quickly. So just looking at the major currency pairs, there's... Um, <clears throat> a little bit of a, you know, the usual sort of slight knee-jerk move in dollar yen to start the week. I, I suspect it'll come back to where it was and just start trading sideways for the rest of the week. Kiwi is the only pair which sort of started to drift higher, but it's just coming off probably on the back of a bit of Aussie Kiwi buying. Okay, push Kiwi back down. Uh, dollar CAD, Euro, Aussie, still within recent ranges. Sterling is the one pair that has been going down, and it makes sense, right? It's been going down because of the Brexit issue, okay? Uh, the UK trying to get some sort of deal out of the EU, as well as a probably increase in uh, coronavirus cases in the UK. Now, I can only see one outcome here, and it's, it's hard to get into the trade now. It's, it's obviously going. But if you give you a look at the daily market insight, uh, I can probably explain it a little bit better. So uh, trading conditions just at the moment, pretty good. Uh, neutral slight risk on situation as far as those US equity markets go. Now, coming down here to the uh, major pair, Sterling is the one pair which has clear direction. But you know what? We're, it's gone so far and it's on the back of this, um, once again, a bit of a geopolitical situation. The only trade I can see, it's a bit of a no-brainer, is if the UK gets a deal from the EU, Sterling's going to blow to the top side, right? So looking to sell, I'm looking to sell Euro Sterling on, on a breakdown or uh, buy sterling yen on a break back up. Now, what we need for that is obviously some sort of deal between the EU and UK. It doesn't seem likely just at the moment, but we saw during Brexit over that, that one or two years where random news was coming out when you least expect it, that's when it happens, right? So just be uh, aware. I think it's a good time to be looking for to getting into that correction in sterling. Um, you know, dollar softer, if you just have a look across the news, a bit of uh, US political news. Um, uh, then you've got, uh, you know, bits and pieces about currencies. I'll tell you what, um, Reuters, Metastock, Bloomberg, everyone's desperate for news because there's no new news. And traders switch off the news when there's nothing else new happening. So just have a look through. There's not a hell of a lot just happening at the moment. Um, I suspect the uh, major focus for this Asian session in particular will be this, um, as I said, the Chinese news and that move on the yuan. It stinks, right? This stinks of a leak. And we'll see if that matches up with that move in dollar yuan. Outside of that, well, I tell you what, there's not a hell of a lot to get excited about just yet. We've got the Fed later in the week. Okay. The, um, sorry, just come down the bottom here. UK employment numbers. Uh, industrial production then you get into uh wednesday that's when we're really going to start to see a few things you got uk canadian cpi 
as well as the Fed. That's probably the major week, major part of the week where everything or well, the macros have a chance to connect and we'll see how it kicks on from there. All right, guys, have a good one and uh, have a good day. Yeah, those giants.